Hello, this is Ben Falk for KillerSites.com. Welcome to a brand new screencast series on building a basic content management system. I'm going to be covering a little bit of everything, from HTML and CSS to PHP and JavaScript. So I hope you'll find this tutorial series useful, and I hope that at the end of this series, you're going to have a working, functional content management system that you can use in your own projects. Let me dive straight in by showing you a working example of what we're going to be building. What you see here is a basic HTML and CSS based site. It's nothing super complicated. I'm going to go ahead and log into the content management system just by clicking this link down here at the bottom. And uh, the first thing you'll notice is we get this modal window that pops up in the middle of the page and allows us to log in. And uh, let's say we mistyped the password. So if we type the password incorrectly, we hit login you notice that this window expands and uh, gives us an invalid username or password error. So let me type this in correctly. There we go. And um, the way I've built this system is I want it to be very easy for either you or your clients to use. So what I've built out is some kind of like a live edit feature where it shows your website as it would online, but specific fields have been highlighted, the areas that you can go ahead and edit. And you'll notice it looks like we have a couple different types of editable fields. Um, we have a one line field, a what you see is what you get field, and a text area field. So there are a couple different kinds of content that I'm going to show you how to build out. So let's uh, click, let's do the one line first. So you'll notice we get a pop-up, another modal window that appears. Um, tells us what content block we're editing and uh, let's say let me just tweak this a little bit so page header here hit submit and you notice the page refreshes and the content is updated so all this content is saved in the database so the content management system is doing all the work of fetching the database and grabbing all the correct pieces of data um, this is what the what you see is what you get functionality looks like and uh, we're going to be working with a JavaScript based solution called Tiny MCE, and that adds functionality to allow us to be able to add a what you see is what you get sort of editable field, same as you'd find in WordPress or other content management systems. And uh, for example, this makes it easy for us to change information. Uh, maybe we want to make this section bold. Hit submit, and you'll notice that this has been updated on the site and includes the bold text. And just as a last example, here's text area, and it's just a big text field. No, what you see is what you get toolbars. So it's pretty basic and straightforward. Um, I guess the last feature that I want to show you is just the preview page option. If you click this link, these fields disappear, so you can preview the site as you would see it live. And then you can click it again to make these buttons make these fields reappear and make uh, the fields editable. Now that I've demonstrated this system, let me talk briefly about the goals that I have in mind as I'm building this system. The main one is I want to make sure it's simple and easy for people to use. I mean, it could be you yourself who's going to be using this application. It could be your clients or customers, people you work with. But no matter what, I want to make sure it's easy for people to understand and uh, bug free works consistently. I also want to make sure that um, it's going to be flexible. That I build it in such a way that it's going to be easy for you to add additional functionality in or for me to come back in future videos and add functionality myself. And finally, I want to make sure that it's something that's easy to integrate into existing projects. I don't want you to have to build a project from scratch in order to use this system. And uh, to that end, let me show you just a brief sampling of the code. Um, so this code here is this page, just the basic HTML and CSS. And what I've done is I've added a couple lines of PHP in different spots in this code. And as I was saying, I want to make this as easy to integrate as possible. So it just requires a couple lines. Um, it require, requires an include that calls the application itself requires this head function which 
includes the necessary JavaScript and CSS. It requires a toolbar function, which makes this uh, content management system toolbar appear and disappear as necessary. And finally, um, these PHP lines, wherever you want to put content blocks, you're going to include these lines. And the system is smart enough to create content blocks if they don't exist yet, and to allow you to edit them and update them as need be. With that in mind, there are a couple of requirements and expectations that I have before we move forward in this course. Um, just to talk briefly about requirements, I do expect that you're going to have a computer that has access to PHP 5 and MySQL I, and um, just you know, working with MAMP or WAMP should easily fulfill this, or if you have a web-based server that you can upload files to and work with that, that'll work too. And um, I'm aiming this series primarily at intermediate level PHP developers. Someone who's had at least beginner's understanding of PHP, um, HTML and CSS, and JavaScript. I'm going to do my best to explain things as clearly and as easily as I can. Um, so please you know, feel free to follow along if you are a brand new beginner, you know, someone who's never worked with any of this stuff before. But keep in mind that it will be more challenging for you. So um, as a final thing in this video, let me briefly discuss what I'm going to be covering in the next however many videos that this series contains. Um, I'm going to be talking about a wide range of technologies. Um, HTML and CSS, which is primarily for the basic website. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot about object-oriented PHP and um, MySQL I. Those are the technologies that I'm going to be using to provide the uh, core functionality for the content management system and to connect to the database. And finally, um, I'm going to be talking about JavaScript and jQuery and a little bit of Ajax thrown in there as well. And also um, working with jQuery plugins. We're going to be using the Colorbox plugin for jQuery, which provides the modal window functionality that I showed you in the demo. And finally, the tiny MCE plugin which allows us to use what you see is what you get functionality in our text areas. So I hope all this uh, sounds exciting. I hope it's going to be an interesting series and I hope you're going to learn a lot. So um, feel free to contact me if you have any questions as you go through this. Uh, my email is ben at killersites.com or you can contact me on the Killer Sites forums at uh, killersites slash community where I go by the username ben. So thanks for listening. I hope you enjoy.